Hello, I'm Omar Shakir, the Narrative Director at Avalanche Studios New York, working on Just Cause 4. In our new game, Rico Rodriguez will hunt down the truth about his past on this fictional South American world of Solis. You'll still use Rico's wingsuit and parachute for traversal, but now we've added new wind currents. They enable you to glide through the world wherever you see them. Let's take a look at Rico's new grappling hook. All of its functionality from the previous games returns, but we've added multiple new features, including the ability to customize different loadouts. In our current setup, we have a powerful charge pulse that blasts objects apart when they meet. A major addition to the grappling hook is the ability to attach multiple airlifters to any object in our game. At the press of a button, the player can disable all airlifters, sending objects crashing back down to the ground. The boosters are back, but this time you can fire them from the grappling hook to remotely and precisely place them wherever you want. Let's get creative and use a combination of the boosters and airlifters. For example, we've taken a crane and cargo container and turned them into a rocket-powered wrecking ball. As you know, everything in Just Cause is always driven by physics. But in Just Cause 4, we've given you freedom that you've never experienced before. Now, by adding more airlifters and changing the placement of the boosters, we've made something completely different out of the same shipping container. A makeshift Zeppelin. Now, let's jump right into the action and check out some of the more extreme parts of the open world. In this mission, Rico's pursuing a massive tornado as it weaves a path of destruction throughout the grasslands. And this is the Storm Chaser, the only vehicle that allows him to do so. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Thanks to Avalanche's new Apex engine, everything you see, as well as the trajectory of every spiraling object, is being calculated in real time. Take the storm chaser and get out of here. I'll get the tornado back on track. The Black Hand have taken over Solis's private airport. And to progress, Rico must take out the wind cannons that are holding the tornado at bay. Adios. The player can take out the wind cannons in any way they choose. Right now we're using the railgun, one of the many new weapons in the game. And all these new weapons have a secondary fire option. So in this case, the railgun can shoot a powerful beam of energy, and it can also deploy a drone that will fight alongside Rico. You can even use this drone as a grapple point to propel yourself into the air. The 
next cannon, let's get more creative and use some new features of Rico's grappling hook. That's all we're going to show today. It's just a small glimpse of what to expect in Just Cause 4. And there's plenty more to come when you play yourself on December 4th.